Hello everyone. Well, today we are going to study about charcuterie products. And what is charcuterie? Charcuterie is the art of transforming pork into various other products. And what are these products that we will cover in this video? Well, there is one common thing about these products, and that common thing is force meat. Why it is common? Because we use force meat for making all these products that we are going to cover in this video. and what is force meat and what are the different types of force meat already i have uploaded one video related to it so if you can watch that video that then this topic will become easy for you also this topic is important for your examination point of view as every year one question or two questions come in exam related to pate curines moose muslin galantines bellotines and which carries 10 marks so If you watch this video carefully you can score around 20 marks. Now we'll start with the video. First let me tell you the meaning of these terms. Pate means paste. Curines means earth. Then mousse and muslin means froth. Galantine means gorgeous or showy. Bellotine means ball or bundle. Canel means dumpling. parfait means perfect and roulade means to roll now we'll talk about pate well pate mean paste and the term pate refers to force meat baked in a crust usually in a rectangular mold something like a loaf tin well to make pate generally goose liver duck liver or chicken liver can be used along with other ingredients like truffles lean meat and of course seasoning pates are generally prepared inside the mold and that the mold is underlined with the dough it is filled with the force meat then it is covered chimneys are inserted and then the cooking of pate is done in two stages first stage is called browning stage where the surface is covered with the foil and the mold is placed in a preheated oven at 475 degrees celsius for around 10 minutes and then again the pates are cooked where we uncover the pate and lightly egg wash is given to the pate and it is put inside the oven until we get the temperature of 170 degree fahrenheit and then we finish the pate with the aspic jelly well these are the equipments that are generally used for making pate we have pate mold and this is the mold that is greased underlined with the dough then we covered force meat then the force meat is covered with the dough we make two holes through which we insert chimneys so that steam can escape through and then we keep this mold inside the oven for cooking the pate now coming on to the tureen well tureens are the closest cousin of the pate and tureen vessel is an oblong earthenware mold as mentioned earlier this was the original vessel that was used and this is how tureen got its name the force meat used in a tureen is usually uncooked and is slightly coarser compared to pate Various force meat can be used and laid over the other. Only care should be taken that the varieties of force meat used should complement each other. Well, these are the four stages. First is preparation, where we do the mise en place, and generally we prepare the force meat. Then the force meat is assembled in the tureen mold. Then we cook, and then finally the tureen is pressed. Then cooking of the tureen is done in a water bath. and generally tureens are kept in the water bath for around 30 minutes and these are the equipments that are used for tureen tureen mold plastic food film pellet knife water bath with a rack so the tureens are assembled in a mold the mold is half filled with the meat so that there is no air pocket and then it is given double water bath in the oven for around 30 minutes and then finally it is pressed Now coming on to the mousse well mousse actually is a mixture of cooked ingredients pureed and held together with gelatin volute sauce mayonnaise or aspic jelly then enriched with cream and sometimes flavored with wine mousse is always served cold very often attractively molded mousse is often served on the cold buffet and at times for lunch now if you want to make mousse first of all you require 
a mixture of cooked ingredients because this mixture is already cooked so now we have to fold one binding agent and that binding agent is either whipped cream or egg white and it is held together with the gelatin and then we set the mousse in the mold individual mold attractively can be garnished and the mousse can be set now coming on to the muslin muslin is made out of a combination of uncooked meat that are pureed are bound with egg white and sometimes cream they are set by cooking normally the force meat for a muslin is made out of fish the raw fish is processed along with the egg white to a fine paste seasoning and a little cream can be incorporated towards the end of the processing the mixture may be flavored with herbs like dill and parsley and muslin can be served hot or chilled now coming on to the chaud front sauce chaud means hot and front means cold so the sauce name is based upon the sauce being prepared hot but served cold and this is the sauce that is generally used for topping all these charcuterie products and it is used in the same way like we use icing for making cake so chaud front is a sauce that is used for topping the meat besides that there are some other purpose also of using chaufro it protects the food from the air it acts as a background for decoration so once we have covered the food with this sauce we can easily decorate it with different herbs spices vegetables fancy full cuts and this sauce can act as a background the sauce definitely will enhance the appearance and the flavor and the sauce must complement the flavor of the meat now there are two types of chaufro or you can make chaufro with this two method first method is called the classical method in which we use bechamel or velouté that is reduced with stock and it is really suitable for products which needed to be coated then we have this contemporary method also which is prepared without roux so it is less starchy and we can make this type of sauce very faster now we'll talk about galantines well galantines are actually the deboned poultry or a game that is stuffed with uh, different force meat and the term galantine means gorgeous or showy galantines are always served cold either as an entree or as a part of the cold meat platter on the buffet sometimes they can also be served as an appetizer with a pal- plate garnish of a salad well to make galantines there are four stages first stage is called preparation where generally we debone the meat that we are going to use and then the meat is seasoned lightly and it is sprinkled with gelatin which act as a binder then to assemble the galantine the force meat is spread over the meat then garnish is placed over neatly and then we put different herbs and spices and then the rolling is done with the help of muslin cloth or aluminum foil and then it is secured and rolled from both the end like a toffee then the galantine is poached in the stock at 190 degree fahrenheit and once the galantine reaches 160 to 170 degree internal temperature the galantines are removed from the fire and then finally the galantine are covered with chaufron sauce and then glazed with aspic jelly so this is how galantines are presented well bellotines are similar to galantines because the method of cooking is same but there are these are small relatives of galantines and bellantine is actually boneless meat that is stuffed and rolled into a bundle like galantine they are also poached but may also be baked or braised or poached in their skins and served hot or cold as entree bellantine can be considered the smaller relatives of galantine a bellantine is prepared from a boneless leg of poultry that is stuffed with force meat and the bellotine is an excellent method for using the leg portion of the poultry when the breast portion have been used for some other purpose now we'll talk about parfait well parfait means perfect 
and there are two ways by which parfait can be prepared one way is like mousse it can be prepared like a frozen dessert which can be lightened with cream and it is generally served in a tall glass which you can see in the picture also in other savory parfait we use force meat the force meat can be prepared from vegetable or fish or poultry or any other light meat and generally the force meat is prepared same way like we make muslin force meat and the muslin force meat is incorporated with the different cream to make it light and then it is cooked now roulade roulade means to roll and generally they are prepared from fish fillet steaks chicken breast piece can also be used only the condition is that you have to roll whatever you are using and it must be rolled like a swiss roll roulade can be toasted or poached the varieties of roulade is unlimited roulades are sliced and served hot or cold so anything that can be rolled that is actually roulade so any food item can be called roulade canel means dumpling so these canels are made from force meat that is prepared from fish or spiced meat mixture and force meat is prepared like muslin again two tablespoons are used to give the shape to canels a shape is like you can see oblong shape or it can be oval shape also same like egg and this uh, canels are poached in fish stock and same stock is used for making sauce is used as a accompaniment for canels so i hope you have understood about all these products we'll come again with another video till the time thank you bye bye